Yeah, go ahead. Look at this picture over here, that, that drawing. That's uh, that's uh, June nineteen. That's June nineteen eighty eight. And that guy, what? Well, why did he draw that? Because that was the position that we were in every fucking day for three months playing that shit. You know what I mean, but. So at the time, you know, he did it, and he, and he came up and he, and, he, and he handed me this thing. You know what I mean, bud? Yeah. I said, where'd you get that, man? And he goes to me, it's not so hard, man. You guys are standing out here every freaking day playing this thing for hours. You know what I mean? Because when you do a session, a lot of times you're not in there like, you know, you know they need you, then you come back in, and they work in it, then you take this, you know? So that, the, you know, we, 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 we had that. Um, and uh, uh, I don't know if you ever heard of the rock band Heart, but I worked with them out in Seattle. That was a blast. And um, I'm just trying to think of, you know, all these beautiful people, man, that I've had the great fortune of uh, working with. You know, it's, it's just uh, from the Grammys. That's like Joss Stone over there. She was freaking 15 when I met her. All these amazing things. Moog Fest with all these great artists and everything that we did. That's a very early picture. When I first was up on the very top there, I know. I, I, got, I, I got a picture that looks a lot better, but I, I don't want to put it. But that's like Wayne Shorter and Joe Zavinal in 1974, 75 in Miami when they had Weather Report. They were good friends of mine. Mm. All of this stuff, man. You know, I mean, it's like God. The memories. I went to the Ali Fr Foreman fight thriller in Manila. No, no, no. The Rumble in the Jungle. That's when I, I went to that. I, I kept my ticket for that. Air Studios in Montserrat. That's that one. You know, the Miles's funeral. That's from that one. And uh, you know, a lot of friends, a lot of memories. Some people aren't with us anymore on, on the wall. You know. Herb Alpert, I went to hung with him for a while. We did something together that was really great. We got a Grammy nomination together, actually, myself and Herb Alpert. Mm. Yeah. What are you going to say? I mean, you know, but then the business all fell apart. Mm. The record business doesn't exist anymore. you like the hundredth person I've heard say that. Yeah, no, the record business doesn't exist anymore. It's the streaming business now. Yeah. Because record business, you know, no matter how much people bitched and moaned about it and everything, you know, right now the business is set for the top to make a lot of money. Because they own all of this stuff, man. They're making deals left and right with all these different companies, getting advances, publishing catalogs, all of this stuff, mm. you know. But back then, you know, if you were a band and you signed a record deal or something like that, you know, or whatever, you could get a couple of hundred thousand dollars to make the album and get out on tour and get this going, man. Then it was up to you and the rest and how much was really into it. But the labels made investments. They owned the shit. There was no doubt about it. But uh, a lot of people were working, man. That's all I know. A lot of people were working. When I, when I was in, in New York one day, I needed my stuff moved because I had all these tons of road cases and everything like that. Just like all those orange cases, I had all these orange. Why did I get orange? Mm. Because when my stuff got flown out to LA, Rocket Cargo would put it in this humongous warehouse, man. It used the airplane hangar, okay? And all the cases were black. <laughs> and I go, where's my stuff? And everything. You know, I didn't have to tell me because I saw it all the way in the back, man, in my orange cases. You know what I mean, bud? And that and that and that, that that's why I did that. You know? But but what happened was that was, was that just to show you how it was, a friend of you know, this guy that used to move my stuff, he was telling me, man, he's gotta come the night before because he's got no room for me the next day. He's moving so much gear. There's so many sessions going on in New York City, it's crazy. Now we have no studios left. One of the one of the biggest blocks in New York, man, with forty eighth Street with Manny's music and Sam Ash and Rudy's and all these places. It's all gone. They knocked it down. They're building condos and office buildings and everything over there. So all the character that brought everybody together is gone now. Mm. It's gone. Doesn't exist. Mm. That's it. I've said enough. <laughs>